Another week has passed, another episode has come out, and now it's time for TV Time with me, Mr. Dark Phoenix, and Spider-Man. And here we are reviewing Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Episode 3, The Asset. Because why not? It's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm not going to make that promise to you, buddy, so stop asking. Because I'm not sure if I can promise you that. After all your effort and searching, we have finally found our solid plot point. Or at least one of them. To introduce a bigger, more powerful character. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to spoil it for anybody that has not watched it. If you have not known how this works by now, I mention plot points of the show non-spoilers in case you haven't watched it yet, because I'm considerate to my part of the audience that has watched it and hasn't watched it, but just because you haven't watched it doesn't mean you can't enjoy Just because you have watched it doesn't mean that we can't talk about it anyway. So I'm going to talk in code with people that have seen it, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I like our nifty 007 toys makes for much more solid use of what I mentioned in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. significance video where it's gonna basically put emphasis on the humans of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the technology because we all know S.H.I.E.L.D. offers a lot of technology and they offer a lot of different means of catching and doing stuff so why not have a better show of better things and how to basically introduce technology in S.H.I.E.L.D. because we all know S.H.I.E.L.D. is the home of wonky and powerful technology that may evidently lead to bad stuff, but we don't know that yet. So, haha. -ha. This party is going to be something else because parties are always a means of getting your job done or doing stuff or just trying to chill back and drink some champagne. How come it always has to be about missions? Why can't we just go to a party? Just go to a party. How come I have to be like a double or triple agent who's drinking champagne? I like to drink champagne at a party where I don't have to worry about being shot at or killed or any of that other stuff. But other than that, it's a typical day for another S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. So, haha. -ha. Our secrets are known, and in, but in too deep, and they can jeopardize the mission. So, basically, she might have the experience, but is certainly quick on her feet with deception and lies and being able to do what no one else will do and getting close enough, get the information, and then get out. Because... When you're a consultant for S.H.I.E.L.D., you have to be able to learn how to deceive and lie and make sure everybody believes you because if you can't lie, you can't be a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. Harsh to say, but sorry, liars in S.H.I.E.L.D. are welcome, ironically. Our mission is more compromised than you think when certain instances happen and this one big thing happens and do not trust a certain character. And if you've watched it, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And I just don't trust this person. Because I won't say their gender or their face or name. And I just don't trust them. Because things are going to get worse unless it's part of the plan all along. Who knows? Eye-opening references and good key points are made when they mention things like The Avengers and other movies. How about your source? You're basically looking for an infinite power source led to an alien invasion. And you really can't fight that because technically it's the truth, so... Unfortunately, it might seem wrong, but... It's technically right. We can't really fight that, so... Good plot points are made. Can you make the hard call and pull the trigger? This is basically the whole basis behind this episode. In one sense, you're so damn serious, and... You basically explain yourself and let yourself open to another member of the team. Because they're not serious, but at the same time... You can't be a hard ass and expect someone who's always goofy to take shine to you if you're going to be a hard ass because I'm a goofball. I'm a serious ass sometimes, but if you're going to come off as 100% serious, I'm going to be like, whoa, it's calm down. We're just practicing here. We don't have to worry about anything. And then when the seriousness kicks in, that's when we can talk about it, but not right off the bat. I mean, you know, we still have to have fun. I mean, it is S.H.I.E.L.D get to drive around in the Blackbird, and you get to have Lola and all that good stuff, so you gotta try and find the fun no matter where you go, right? What we know for certain is that a character comes in to the open about our team, and basically what we knew from the first episode was gonna happen. I mean, you try to be slick about it, and basically because you don't like the way things are going, now you're gonna go back into what you know, because you don't like how things were going, even though we knew you couldn't resist. So... Sorry, for those who saw it, you already know who I'm talking about. She was not slick. I knew she was going to be in it by at least episode three. 
So I think this is this is episode three. So I was basically right in thinking you're not slick. Finally, we are treated to a hand of sorts. But who could that person be? Um, for this episode, like I did for another one, I was gonna have a little spoiler part of it. Um, not really a spoiler, but it's gonna be Gravitron because that's the villain that controls the gravity and everything. So. Probably that's going to be the future instance in later episodes that will probably require us to maybe call on a hero. I'm not sure which one, but the guessing and the theories and the speculation will all be kicking in. And of course you guys are more than welcome to message me on here or on my Twitter at MrDarkPhoenix or right here on the crotch bar to have a discussion with me. We can talk about who we think is going to be, but for the most part I know it's going to be Gravitron anyway, so... Really good way to introduce a really good villain. But thank you guys for tuning in with more TV time with Mr. Dark Phoenix, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Ice, Into Deep, The Asset. Sorry, that was from another show. The Asset, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Episode 3. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Don't forget that if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'm going to catch you more next week with more TV time with Mr. Dark Phoenix and Spider Man. Enjoy, guys.